All right, I'm already super interested because this seems kind of funny. So this guy puts this one in. Summer, so it's gold. Soldier Bastion is blatantly cheating the entire match. Mercy second round might have been stacking with him since she was helping him. He didn't even try to hide it on the second round. I'm going to teach you some little, little something real fast. If you're in comp, if you try to invite someone to your group, it'll say one of two things. It'll say you can't invite this person because they're in competitive match, which means that they're solo queue. Or if you invite them, it says already in a group, which means they're grouped with somebody else in the game. And then you just got to obviously, you know, play detective and figure out who's who. So basically, if you ever want to figure out if two people are duoed on the enemy team, um, just do that and you can figure it out quite easily, actually. But anyways, this guy's cheating on Soldier and his name is Mr. Smooth. I'm not- I'm in. I'm interested. Oh no. Um... Think you can keep up? This is like the- isn't this like the special edition of Overwatch? One? Skin for Soldier? Oh, so they probably got a, their hands on an Overwatch 1 account. I'll see this it was actually at one point this big, uh... This big concern that cheaters and hackers and stuff were gonna try to find and buy Overwatch 1 retail accounts because they don't require two-factor authentication. So, because of, like, remember when everyone got grandfathered into Overwatch 2? Um, that if you owned Overwatch 1, you didn't need a phone number? It was this big concern that uh, because of not needing the phone number, it would be a lot harder to uh, track them down. So I'm pretty sure that technically to cheaters, Overwatch 1 accounts are worth slightly more. That's a bit of an assumption on my part, but oh, oh God, oh. This is such a nice change of pace from the last one where we have to do a lot of investigative work. We don't have to do shit for this one. <laughs> we ain't gotta do nothing. Now this guy, this guy might have used code flats for some gamer subs. This one I could see it. You know, they're, they're a little hyped up. They're, uh... <laughs> kind of just, they're kind of just walking into enemies getting rolled. Our old man seems legit. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Very legit. I love the Kiriko walking up and two-tapping him, by the way. Feels good, man. God, trying to shoot the Kiriko there through the wall too at the end. No fear, not even hiding it. Jesus. Wow, Mr. Smooth got some smooth aim. Even dropped some heals for his Junker Queen. What a courteous cheater. Why even pop the walls? What's the point? What's the point? What's the point, dude? What's the point? Dude, the Kiriko is actually kind of rolling him. I'm, I'm for it. I'm all in. I swear the ult is a downgrade. It used to be. Um, but you can actually headshot in Visor now. Um, you just have to aim it, of course. But it used to actually be a downside for like people that were cheating and they like hit headshots only. If they popped visor, they were literally doing less damage because they couldn't headshot. What did they turn it off or did it just not work up close? Like what's? They didn't even kill the Reaper. They just left him. They're like, nah, that's your problem now. I love how it's perfectly tracking the rhyme through everything. Through the floors, through the walls. Through the shield, headshots only. Listen. How, how, how the hell am I typing to nobody? Do you see this? Hello? Is anyone there? Is someone at Blizzard watching? Can we get creator codes? How about a better anti-cheat? Okay, I'll buy the battle pass. I feel like somebody's watching me. 
I love it though how they walk towards the Reaper who's ulting and then put a heal pad down. Watch this. Walks towards the Reaper. Walks towards the Reaper and puts a heal pad down. What a, what a considerate. What a considerate guy. Smoked on. Rolled. Rolled by Cardboard Reinhardt Giga Chad. Why would you want a better anti cheat? You wouldn't miss out on all these nice replays. Plus, it meant contrary to popular belief, I don't make content just because I want to farm it. I would rather see these things fixed. And by making content of it, I kill two birds, one stone, but hopefully it brings a little awareness. You know? Off shot, thanks for the five gifts. Appreciate it. I, I love how he, he's like, oh, they won't know I'm here. I mean, I can see them, but thank you. They can't see me. Speaking. Fuck no. By the way, we aren't watching. Uh, thanks for the 200 bets. I believe you. Rolled. I love watching cheers get absolutely smoked in 1v1s. It just like warms this little part of my cold dead heart, you know? Still conv not convinced he's cheating. I'm going to need more evidence. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Is the Cassidy through the wall there enough? No? Okay, we'll keep going. This, oh. <laughs> Giga Chad. <laughs> actual, actual fucking Giga Chad. Redeploy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, oh come on, man. We all know. Okay, we all know. Obviously, they're hard cheating, but like, come on, man. Come on, dude. Come, come on. At least, at least keep a little bit of mystery. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Come on, dude. I don't understand. I never forget. Damn it. I love how they just kind of lost. Like, there's nowhere to go. It's also probably kind of confusing if you're really bad at the game, and then you also have, like, wall hacks and aim cheats, so, like, you can see them all through the wall over there right now, but, like, doesn't understand how to get there, or, like, how he should get there. It's like, no, I gotta play with my team. You know, even though I'll hit all my shots, like, you know, it's too scary, you know? I can't, I, I can't go over there. Oh, this poor Kiri, dude. This poor Kiri's not having a good time. The Ryan's coming. He's coming for him. Damn. The rest of his teammates are all kind of popping off, though. Like the Junker Queen. Dude, Junker Queen is so strong. Wait, wait she just walked in and died, though, Pog. Oh, here he comes. Wait. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> What in the f is this? Dude, there ain't no way. Dude, there ain't no way. Reinhardt in face, full shield, full health, full armor, within punching range. Versus Wimpy Soldier Alt. Who wins? Giga Chad Ryan versus Wimpy Soldier. Giga Chad Ryan wins every time. Oh, now they got a Mercy Pocket. Oh, no. Not the Mercy Pocket. Yo, yo, let's have a little public service announcement. Uh, one, Blizzard is, is basically has come out and said that if you duo with a cheater and, like, hard pocket them, they also can be punished. So if you think somebody on the enemy team is cheating, or sorry, if you know somebody on the enemy team is cheating, and then there's someone on their team, if you haven't checked, you should probably try to check if they're grouped together, but they can always leave the group once they get into a game. If you think somebody's hard pocketing a cheater or, or dueling with a cheater, report them too, because fuck them. Because honestly, that shit's just as bad, because then that shit, they climb a bunch with the cheater, and they're still dog shit, you know? So it's like, not only is the cheater ruined game, but the other person's gonna ruin games later. Yo, Flats, can you pause the stream? I got a shit. Yeah, sure, man. Well, I'll just sit here and wait. Yeah, no problem. Also, man, I've had I, I've had my share of 
hoop breaks this week. I, it's only fair I give you one. All right, let's go. I'm actually disappointed that there was not another solo shatter on the soldier. Feels bad, man. Also, by the way, just a small heads up. <clears throat> if you ever encounter a hard cheater in your lower elo gold games, etc., what the Rhine is doing is what you should always do. Literally get in his face and f him up because he's going to be bad. And he's not going to know what he's doing. And he's going to think that he can out damage you and out heal you at point blank range. Rhines, run his ass the f over. You just get in the cheater's face constantly because they don't they don't know what to do. They have no idea what to do. See this mid range right here. This is where they thrive. This is where they get to have a good time. Do not let them have space. Do not let them breathe. Sh literally run down their throat. Power. Thanks for fourteen months. Time flies. Why is this cursor Bob so much when he runs? Because he's tracking them through the walls at the same time. Do you think any of this looks natural to you? Here we go again! <laughs> Up close, soldier with visor versus Giga Chad Ryan. Do not let him through. Easy. Wimpy cheating soldier versus Giga Chad Ryan. Oh, he's coming for his ass too. <laughs> you know, there's few things that would give me more more happiness in this world than things like this right here. Just no fear, just being like, I'm coming for them cheeks, bit. Oh no, mercy pocketed soldier. Okay, on defense it's way harder to do it though. Or sorry, on attack it's way harder for him to do it. It's gonna be easy for the cheater to get away with shit. Because, like, you just have to get there, and it's much harder. Although, they're kind of playing really stupid right now, so you, you actually have a good chance. Just run at him! Run him down! Come on, Ryan, don't be afraid! Chase his ass down! So they're playing Brig Rhyme. This is very gold like. Ryan's rolling. Feels good, man. Bash and smokes him. Feels good, man. Why is the most cheated on character soldier flats? Uh, because it's a very straightforward Call of Duty character. If you play characters like Tracer, it's a lot harder to get away. Like, you just, like, getting in and out of fights is a lot more difficult, and you need to have some game sense. Characters like Widow, again, you still need sight lines, but if you hard rage cheat on Widow, people pick up on it instantly. At least if you cheat on Soldier, most people don't watch their kill camps. So like, if a Soldier kills you, how often, how often do you think a Soldier is cheating when he kills you? Probably not that often. You won't even watch the kill camp. But if a Widow gets a 4K, everyone's like, whoa, what's going on over there, you know? And also, again, Giga Chad Ryan, another solo shatter onto, actually, I don't think it's a solo shatter. I think it's the Mercy too. Boom, smokes his ass again. Fucking rolls him. Absolutely destroyed. I stand with you. <laughs> this is what I mean by getting up close and personal with the cheaters. Like, they're really bad. They don't really know what to do up close. And so he just runs at him full speed. And because it's, sol it's Soldier, he doesn't do a whole lot of burst damage. Hanzo does way more burst damage. Smokes him. Now this is when things are going to get spooky. Because now he can blow up the Ryan shield. And if he does it right, the Ryan's is going to be having a bad time. But he uses his tank form early. Oh, uh, unfortunately, the other Bastion didn't realize he had to kind of play a little bit more safe. But it doesn't matter. They're going to cap. Yeah, they're stupid. Giga Chad. Giga Chad, no fear. Wasn't getting hard pocketed plus Junkrat in the corner. That would have been a freebie. Don't care. Capture the point. Giga Chad, W key. No fear. I love the perfect tracking on the Reaper while he's in, uh, in Fade. It always makes me so sad when they swap. Bastion's the other character you'll see a lot of people che cheating with in low ranks. Just because he does so much damage. Um, and you can kind of like burst the tanks down. But 
the way, the way you beat a Bastion cheater, chat, it's actually very simple. Actually, this is how you beat Bastion in general. The way you beat Bastion cheaters is very, very simple. Very early in the fight, you play aggressive, and then the second he pops turret form, you just disengage. You leave. Wait four or five seconds, wait for it to be over, and then you W key him down. He dies every time. You just watched it happen, actually. I don't know if they did it on purpose. I think more or less that the Bastion was stupid and wasted his turret form early. But you see here how they all just waited, waited for it to be over, and then the second it's over, their Ryan recognizes it's over, and they just W key at him. He's stuck in the corner. You run his ass down. Do you feel it was easier to combat a cheater with two tanks instead of one? For sure. It was definitely easier. Um. But, I mean, it's still not impossible nowadays. It can be impossible, depending, though. Like, if they're hard rage hacking, and they actually aren't that bad at the game, and they're playing something like Widow, yeah, it's a lot tougher. And it also depends if the enemy team's helping them and whatnot. But, in, like, an average gold game, um, where that person's probably bronze with, like, gold cheat and their gold cheating or whatever, uh, the key is just to bait their cooldowns out and then run them down. Because they're so dumb. Like, they just stand still. Like, where are you, look where he's standing right now. He's just standing here. Unfortunately, the Ryan's not recognizing it and is going forward instead of going for the Bastion or just like kind of zoning him. Um, but yeah, this is where it's going to get spooky right here. Good pin. Giga Chad pins him, rolls him, smoked his ass. Unfortunately, they'd already lost people though, so it's like tough. But the, the way they're playing though is actually so good. It's like that's basically what you have to do on tank is bait out the, bait out the Bastion's cooldown, then W key. Luckily, this guy's stupid and kind of just staggered his own team. Aw, oh, come on, guys. Aw, oh, come on. You gotta know better than that. I know it's gold, but aw, oh, they had it right there. They had the Katsune Rush and everything. No. No, that was their opportunity. I mean, don't get me wrong. They still got some time, but uh, it's gonna be way harder now. It's gonna be way harder. Oh, going Sigma, I don't know, was the play either. I know Sigma's good against Spashton, like, he's not bad. But, I'm not really sure that many gold players know how to play Bastion. Or, sorry, know how to play Sigma to the point where they'll actually be effective with him. It's pressuring him out good, though. I'll give you that. I liked when they were rushing, though. It was better. Ryan was only... Ryan wouldn't technically be better as a pick, but in this elo, in this circumstance, and what we're watching, yes. Like, if you're trying to min-max, Sigma's pretty good, Diva's really good. Um, but against what we're watching and what your caliber of teammates are and stuff like that, it's like... You know, you also have Reaper, and so, like, you've been kind of brawling, so I'm probably going to stay with it. They also have a Ramatra, so playing Sigma, though, like, you know... I understand it, but it's not like the best call. This guy is so bad, bronze 100%. I mean, yeah, he's ulting in the middle of the open. But, you know, they're kind of pocketing him, which is really sad. I always get really sad when cheaters get hard pocketed. Like, people fiend for elo in this game. One of the one of the best things you can do when someone's cheating in a hybrid in a game like this is you force an overtime and then you force a draw and just waste, like, their time. If, and you might say, like, well, I don't want to waste my time. Yeah, but, like, think about it. If you, if every time somebody does that, every time you find a cheater, you waste their time and draw, you only end up having it happen, like, once every, like, week or two weeks or more. But they'll have it happen every other game. You know what I mean? Like, they're going to have a bad time. If, in theory, you know, people actually did that. Dumb idea, but okay. Wait, how is it a dumb idea to force a draw to waste the cheater's time and so they also don't get elo and climb? Because when people cheat, they want to shit on people and they want to climb. How is that dumb? You waste their time, they get pissed, and so that you are literally ruining their time because they're ruining yours. They're cheating in your game. You're having a fight. You're not having a fair fight anymore. You're having a fight on basically they're trying to ruin your experience so you ruin theirs. You're fighting fire with fire. Team has to know, so the Mercy absolutely knowingly pocking the cheater. Well, they might have been duoed. So you can check by going through and trying to invite enemies on the other team to a group. And if it says they're in a group already, that means they're grouped with another player on the enemy team. You can go through and group them. And then you can even tell the enemy team, hey, you have a cheater and your Mercy's pocketing them. 
and then, you know, they're trying to fully take it. But unfortunately, most people want to take the elo and leave. So, I have a feeling you're one of those people. Fortunately, cheaters are very rare in Overwatch. True, to the average player, they are very rare. Um, but there's also many times where people don't understand when someone's cheating. And they might not recognize it. The rule doesn't apply only to PC. It applies to console, too. I mean, I guess... Well, it depends. It depends if you're trying to invite them to a party. You wouldn't invite them to a party. You would invite them to your in-game group. Yeah, this is going to be unfortunate. I don't think they're going to win this. Unless they pick this guy off first next fight, it's going to be real tough. Also, I don't know why they went Arissa. Arissa's really not good against Bastion. This is the key. You have to wait this out. If you wait out his turret for him, it's gone. Now is the time you kill him. Fortunately, they have Ramacho. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh, no. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. That's tough. They kind of blew their opportunity to win that, but unfortunate.